How to Create a Free Website with Google Sites. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a completely free website using Google Sites, step by step. Just make sure to stick with me till the end so you don't miss any important parts that will make your website look professional. So let's get started. So first of all, what exactly is Google Sites? Well, it's a free website builder from Google that's super simple to use. You don't need any coding skills, and it works great if you want to build a portfolio, a small business site, a classroom page, or even a personal project site. It's integrated with Google tools like Drive, Docs, YouTube, Calendar, making it incredibly convenient. To get started, open your browser and go to sites.google.com. If you're already signed into your Google account, you'll land on the dashboard where you can either choose a template or start with a blank site. If you want to save time, you can pick a template from the template gallery. There are templates for portfolios, team sites, events, and more. But for this tutorial, we'll start from scratch with a blank site so you can learn how to build everything step by step. Once you open a blank site, you'll notice three main sections. The middle is your live editor, a preview of your website. On the right, you have tools like insert, pages, and themes. And at the top, you can name your site, preview it, publish it, or access settings. Let's first give our site a name. For example, App Tutor Website. This will automatically update the site name on the top left corner. Now let's customize the look of our website. Go to the Themes tab on the right. You can choose from built-in themes or create your own custom theme slash, which is great if you want to match your brand or personal style. Let's click on Custom. Name the theme App Tutor. Upload a logo and adjust the colors. You can choose fonts for titles and body text as well. Let's go with something clean like Montserrat for body and Gloria for headings. Once your custom theme is created, it gets applied instantly to your site. Now, back on the editor. Click on the header section. You can change the header type, cover, banner, large banner, or just title. Let's select just title and update the text to something like Welcome to App Tutor. If you want, you can add a background image or keep it clean and simple. Next, we'll start adding some content. Click Insert on the right and choose a content block layout. Let's go with one that has a title, text, and image. In the title section, type something like About Me. In the text section, say, Hi, I'm John. I help people build awesome websites using free tools like Google Sites. This is my personal portfolio site. Thanks for visiting. Now, let's upload an image or profile picture to the left. You can upload from your device or choose from Google Drive. Below the text, let's add a button. Click on Button from the Insert panel. Name the button Find Out More or About Me. Then link it to another page. But wait, we haven't created one yet. So go to the Pages tab and click the plus sign to add a new page called About Me. Now go back and link your button to this new page. You can drag the button under the section, align it to the center, and you're good to go. Let's now add some multimedia to make your site more engaging. Click YouTube under the Insert panel. Search for a video, maybe something like Our Planet Wales. Select the video and insert it. Resize it if needed. Below the video, insert a text box and type, I love learning about nature and sharing these amazing discoveries with others. Let me know what you think about this video. Format the text to subheading, align it center, and adjust the section color if you'd like. It helps separate different parts of your site visually. Want to add a resume or portfolio PDF? Click on Drive and select a file from your Google Drive to embed. It's great if you're sharing documents, presentations, or forms. You can also embed a Google Calendar to show availability or upcoming events, especially helpful for teachers, consultants, or freelancers. You can resize these widgets, move them around, and customize how they appear. If you want people to reach you, here's a trick. Go to Google Forms. Create a simple contact form with fields like name, email, and message. Then in Google Sites, click Forms from the Insert panel and embed that contact form right on your home page or contact page. Now visitors can contact you directly, and all messages will be collected in your Google Sheets automatically. 
Next, let's go to Settings at the top. Under Navigation, you can choose between Top or Side Navigation. Side Navigation works well for mobile. Scroll to the bottom of your site and click Add Footer. This is a good place to add your copyright, email, or quick links. Like uh, Copyright 2025 App Tutor, sorry, all rights reserved. Once your site is ready, click the Publish button at the top. Choose a web address like apptutor.google.com. You can also connect your own domain if you bought one. Just go into Custom Domain under Settings. Click Publish and your site is live. You can share the link or preview it in mobile and desktop views to make sure everything looks perfect. And that's it. Your very own professional looking website, completely free, built in under 10 minutes with Google Sites. Whether you're creating a portfolio, blog, class page, or business landing page, this is an amazing tool to get started. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who needs a free website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.